first heat race of the night is on the line for the 250 class. Now we did it all in 125, and now we're going to do it again with a bigger force. The motorcycles are 250 cc's. Darcy Lange is out front. Josh Demuth is on the inside of Darcy, but he backs out of the throttle. Takes the corner close, but Darcy cuts across and holds the lead. Well, the thing about it I like is he did the triple coming out of that corner there, and that gets you a lot of time. Top four riders go into the main right now. That would be Lange and Josh Demuth leading the way. Yeah, Josh is now, you know, I don't know how many times we've said it, but uh, he lets the race come to him. He's not rattled that back in third spot is going to be Phil Lawrence, and he knows that Phil's out here. This is his first arena cross. Uh, you know, and he hasn't been on a bike racing professionally in a couple years now, so he's pretty content with Phil back there. He just wants to focus on Darcy and see where he's going. Yeah, Phil's not going to get in the way. Phil is trying to qualify and hang on to that number three position. He's doing a fine job of that. There goes Josh Dima to the inside, takes the line away from Darcy Lance, and it looks like the pass is made, but here comes Darcy right back. Well, Darcy squeaks through. How did he do that? That was a beautiful pass. I mean, he tripled that section coming into there and just rode right around the outside of Josh and uh, takes the lead. Here we're going to look at the pass that Josh sets him up beautifully going to the outside, squares up underneath him, makes sure he makes the block pass. They both do the double. But Darcy says, you know what? I'm going to triple this next section here going into that corner. I'm going to get the lead back and just rides right around him on the outside. Boy, oh boy, give credit to a pair of riders there. Darcy Lance were even attempting to do that, and Josh Demon for avoiding Darcy. Darcy's figuring, hey, I got nothing to lose at this point. Well, with two laps to go, uh, you know, he's in the driver's seat right now. He has to be a little bit wide in the corners as they go over the uh, double jump. But here's the thing, Josh is not following. He's going inside and outside. He's trying to set him up for something, I'm sure of it. Last lap, Josh Demuth is the series points leader. The best thing he could do would, would be to back out and not take chances, but he's drawn alongside. He's doing it again. He made the pass. He takes over the front runner's position. What a beautiful pass that was. And then he tripled into the corner to make sure Darcy didn't come back around him again. Josh Demuth, rider number four, is doing it all. I got to tell you, great ride. Darcy lands in the runner-up position uh, has got to be shaking his head at, at this point. Watch this. Well, he, he squares back up underneath again and drives to the outside. Now, that was the first time he tried to get around. Here's the second time. Darcy's a little bit smarter now. He's going to go to the inside. He's got the rear wheel locked up, skids a little bit too far past. Josh goes back underneath again and makes that pass stick. Smart, smart, smart. Here's what Josh had to say. Darcy is an awesome rider, and uh, we just had a great race. It's the way I'd like every race to be. But I want to know why it is that you are pushing so hard in the heat race. I just want to win. I want to win everything. So uh, I hope that I can. I know I won't, win. I won't, but everyone that I can, I'd like to. Everyone he can, he would like to. Well, so far, it's been every race he's in. Action from heat race number two. Chad Johnson is your leader, rider number nine. Behind him is Denny Stevenson. Denny's in a qualifying position, but that's not where he wants to be. He's been at this a number of years. He's not getting the results this year that he's accustomed to. That prompted the question to him earlier. Is this your last season? You know, I'm having a lot of fun still racing the motorcycle. Like you said, I'm not really doing as well as I'd hope, but you know, I'm still uh, I still getting a lot of press for tough pro circuit Kawasaki, and, and that's the main goal is, is is getting your sponsors out there to be seen and and to win races, and we're we're doing half that, I guess. So, uh, you know, if I can find a ride next year, and uh, you know, if someone wants to have me on the team, I'm I'm hoping to stay with Kawasaki and Tough and, and Pro Circuit and Thor and all these great sponsors I got this year, and I'd love to be with them at least one more year. You know, um, it doesn't pay as well to do your job as it does to do my job. So I, I just stick, stick too soon stick and do my job. <laughs> he's he's after your job. Now, I got to tell you right now, I got seniority, Holly. He's going after your job. Well, well, it's a little safer here in the booth with you, Larry, than being out there. <laughs> Jack Johnson on his way to a win in heat race number two. Spotlights on him as well as should be. And Denny Stevenson will come home in the number two position. Rider number six for the Kawasaki, followed by Willow and Hodges. One more heat race to go. That would be, of course, number three. And here's the guy that uh, is going to take the checkered flag. Rider number 57, Tom Hoffmaster. Right behind him comes number eight, Rusty Holland. Rollerball, as we have affectionately been calling him. 
Hoffmaster uh, in and out of trouble all night long, and just when things are going bad, he seems to pick himself up and uh, do well, as he did here, taking a heat race win. Brandon Bartz finished third, and rounding out the top qualifiers, number uh, 25, Jeremy Buell. Now we're into semi-action, and it gets a little bit tougher. Only the top two riders will qualify for the main. That's Brad Hagstaff going down there in that first turn. He clipped uh, one of the riders out there and going down, unfortunate for him, but uh, up front, number 25 on that Husky. Mike Cake, rider number 25, and you're right. He's on a Husqvarna. You don't see a lot of Husqvarnas out here in the uh, arena cross land. Here's the crash for Brad. Well, he just tried to run it up in there a little bit too deep and uh, caught one of the rear wheels of another rider and just high sided it. So, Hagseth will go to the last chance qualifier, and that is a rarity, too. Now, here, Jim, a battle for second place between uh, rider number 606, Tom Kelly, and Brad Majewski going around the outside, number 458. Now, only one of those two can go to the main because out of the semi, we only take two riders, and Caton is leading it. Right now, it is Kelly, unless Brad is able to put something together. Here's Caton, last lap. Kitten's got that husky oh, work him, here it goes. Still a dog fight for second. Majerski squares up. He's got second right now, but he does. Tripling now going into that corner. Oh, and Kelly gets it back. Whoa. Kelly wants to go to the main. Here comes Majerski. They lock. And Brad hits him. Who's going to go to the main? It's Majerski. They locked handlebars in that turn. Kelly had things well in hand. Watch this. He squares up underneath him. Everything is looking good. They come together right there. They lock handlebars. They're stuck together. And then they finally break away, and Majerski gets that second place finish. And the pass was made. Mike Caton wins it. Then we talk to Brad and Tom. Yeah, it was one of those great things. I had to get in the main event, and uh, I did whatever I had to do. I tried getting him on a catapult before that. I had him, had him in a corner. He still ended up getting in front of me, but uh, I just took him inside, and we kind of hooked up, and I ended up getting uh, second place. Yeah, I think it was fair. He, I, he hit me a little harder than most people would, but uh, I guess it's just race, and I, I opened the door, and he took it. Yeah, came right on through, didn't he, Tom? He must not have tangled with Rusty Holland yet. <laughs> boy, you are picking on that guy. Hey, look. Oh, boy. Here's Kelly back, 606, but Brad Hagseth is also here, rider number 11, and Hagseth went really wide and almost paid a price there by getting past. Still holds on to the number two position. Well, Kelly's got to remember that, uh, you know, Hagstaff isn't going to set back. Oh, oh, and Kelly goes down all by himself. Edwards gets his wheel wedged in between the rear wheel of, of Kelly's machine and defender. He's out of it. Kelly's out of it. And Hagseth is home free. So, Jim, we've set the field for the 250cc main event. It has got to be a good one. And it's coming up next. Question, can Josh Demuth go four for four? We'll find out when we come back.